Get out there and get some rest. This ain't happen overnight. That's why I do this thing to death. I might do this till I'm deaf, dumb, and blind. You know I don't need my eyes to see my feet. Working fine, never mind me. I ain't worried about how they define me. Long as they can find me. What up, everybody who talks boxing, comments about boxing, and makes boxing videos? Oscar De La Hoya is reporting that he is satisfied with the pay-per-view numbers for Canelo versus Liam Smith. I just want to say he is lying through his teeth there's absolutely no way that he could be happy about the pay-per-view buys not because 300,000 buys is a bad number it's really not a bad number the reason why he can't possibly be happy about that number is because for a long time, he has been pushing Canelo down our throats saying he is the biggest star in boxing. And in every negotiation, he says that Canelo is the A-side. And Canelo vacated his WBC belt, gave it up to Triple G. And within the same month, Triple G and Canelo had pay-per-views. Triple G's pay-per-view did 500,000 buys, exceeding Canelo's by about 200,000 buys. So that being said, there's there's no way that he could possibly be happy about that number. Now think about it this way, all right? I've said this many, many times, and that is that hardcore or beyond casual fans are the minority. And casuals whether we like it or not, are the majority. Now, casual fans are not going to buy every boxing pay-per-view. They may not even buy one boxing pay-per-view a month. But I guarantee you, in any given month, if they are going to buy a pay-per-view, they're only going to buy one. They're not going to buy... You know, there's two boxing pay-per-views in the same month. We can pretty much assume they're on, they're only going to buy one of them. That's just the way that it is because they are casual fans. If they were the type of fan to buy both and to have a Box Nation account and all this stuff, then then they're not casual fans at that point. They may not necessarily be hardcore, but they're definitely beyond being a casual fan. So what this means is Triple G and Canelo are fighting for the, for the majority's dollar or pounds. And Triple G outdid him. And they are competitors. For one, they do have this tension between them right now. Two, Canelo vacated his belt because he... Let's, let's just be real. Canelo didn't want to fight him. And not only that, but Canelo is supposed to be the Mexican star... And Triple G has coined the phrase Mexican style, even though he himself isn't Mexican. He prides himself on fighting Mexican style. And it seems like as time goes on, more and more Mexicans are supporting Triple G. 
That includes myself. I support Triple G over Canelo 100%. And I'm half Mexican. But it's like I said, real boxing is not just skin deep. Now, that's not what this video is about, but just throwing that out there. That basically means I'm not going to support a fighter just because they're Mexican like I am. That's just... That's low IQ shit. But I will support fighters that are really doing something. Now, I criticize the Brook fight, but it is what it is. The Brook fight did sell 200,000 more pay-per-views than Canelo did. And that's why Oscar De La Hoya couldn't possibly be happy about this. Because, it's like I said, he's been saying that, triple, that uh, Canelo is the biggest star in boxing. Yet, Triple G outdoes him in the same month. Had it been a different month, you know, had there been a couple months in between the two fights, then there would be, you know, not so bad. There will be people who still bring it up, but it wouldn't be as bad. But when you have it in the same month where you have to basically fight for the fans' money. Because like I said, the casuals are not buying both. They're only going to buy one or the other. And he got 200,000 less buys. Then that tells him that he lost the pay-per-view battle in September. If they... I'm telling you, there's no way he could possibly be happy about this. Because Oscar De La Hoya is a businessman right now. I have no qualms with his fighting career. But right now, he's a businessman. Everything he does is related to business. Right now, he, all he's doing is saving face. He's not... I'm pretty sure he's not lying to himself. He knows whether or not he's happy. You know, because it... 300,000 buys, to be honest, is not bad. People want to say... Oh, that, you know, it flopped. I don't consider that a flop. Now, when you have 300,000 buys and your competitor has 500,000 buys in the same month, then, then there's a flop there. Because you're telling everybody that you're the A-side against this guy. He says he fights Mexican style, and he now has your belt. Now, had he vacated the belt, and then he did 500,000 buys, or 600,000 buys, let's say, and Triple G only did 100,000, then that kind of gives him grounds from a business perspective. As far as boxing is concerned, I don't care about these numbers, to be honest, but I'm just, I'm just trying to make a point here. Had everything played out the exact same way, but Canelo got 600000 and Triple G only got 100000 then that gives, from a business standpoint, gives Oscar grounds to say, hey, that's why we gave up the belt. We don't care about that belt. Look at how, you know, at the end of the day, Canelo's still the biggest star. Look at how... How many more pay-per-views he sold than Triple G. But right now, he can't say that. Right now, not only did his cash cow lose the belt, but he's losing the buys. So where does that leave Oscar and Golden Boy promotions? Just think about that. Anyways, to all my subscribers, anybody watching my videos, or if you just so happen to storm upon this video... Please feel free to leave a comment, whether you agree or disagree or, you know, you feel that I'm just being hard on Canelo. I don't care. Please 
Feel free to leave a comment. All I ask is that you be the, that you be respectful. Have a wonderful and blessed day. Peace. I got some people that write me like I wish you died like your mama did. These are the comments that I got a problem with. You should be quiet and watch what you hollering. Yeah. My fans will eat you alive. Trolls get off on my page. My bars fly over their heads. I wrote that line on the plane. I wrote that line on the plane.